You came from the circle at Ostwick, did you not? Senior Enchanter Lydia was a dear friend of mine. Were you at all acquainted? Lydia was my instructor. She was almost a mother to me. I never met a wiser soul than her. I knew her. We rarely saw eye to eye. I suppose you don't miss her, then? Yes, she was one of my instructors. You are lucky to have studied with her. Lydia had a wealth of knowledge. I saw her around the tower, but we never really talked. What a pity. She was a great teacher. I understand she was killed by one of her own students when the Ostwick Circle rebelled. I think we both agree that this war must end. You've never been to a circle, as far as I can tell, yet you're remarkably skilled. Were you self-taught? Not at all. I studied magic with Keeper Dejana. I have heard about the traditions of magic among the Dalish Keepers, but it's all third-hand. In my own experience, nothing is more deadly to a young mage than a lack of knowledge. Which makes the current state of things... precarious. What do you imagine will happen if the Circles are not restored? Do you foresee the Dalish taking us all under their wing? I figured out enough on my own. You're fortunate to be a quick learner. You've never been to a Circle, as far as I can tell, yet you're remarkably skilled. Were you self-taught? Another Talvashoth, Cerevas, trained me. I had heard that magic practiced by the Kunari and Talvashoth was formidable. But I never had the chance to observe it myself. There has never been a greater threat to mages than the Breach. Until it is closed, no one is safe. If you're seeing demons everywhere, do you believe you're a risk? Do you believe I am? We are a risk, darling. Better to know it and use caution. As you will no doubt have a hand in shaping it, what future do you see for mages? Mages should be treated like anybody else. You are not the first to forget that the walls of our towers kept the wolves out as much as they kept us in. We hate the Templars when they stand over us in judgment, but we thank them with all our hearts when they keep the mob at bay. The Dalish get along just fine without Templars or Circle Towers. As I understand it, the Elves limit their risk by refusing to have more than three mages in a clan. Tell me, what becomes of the Dalish youngster who is not appointed first or second? If a clan can't raise the mage, they're sent to another that's in need of a first or second. And if there are no clans in need of a new apprentice? It is better to die free than spend a life in captivity. And would you still say that if you were that unwanted mage? What freedom do the dead enjoy? If you want to say something about the Dalish, say it. For those who value survival, sentimentality is not an option. There are no Templars among the Vashoth. My dear, your people cut the tongues from mages they deem dangerous, just as the Kunari do. And they kill those they deem too weak to resist demons. Your people are no kinder than any other.